Hi everyone, today we are going to be reviewing the Dragon Touch version 4 action camera. I just did an unboxing video for this camera. I'll put the link down in the description below so you guys can go check that out. The first thing we're going to be looking at on the Dragon Touch action camera is the settings. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so the way you turn the camera on is by this button right here. So we're going to just hold that down. And the camera is on. You have a blue light at the top indicating the camera is on. So the way you get to the settings on this is by this button at the front, the mode button. That brings you into photos. That'd show your pictures. Oh, the first one shows your videos, this one shows your pictures. Then you're into the settings. So, resolution, video resolutions. Then electronic stimulation, loop recording, time lapse, slow motion, audio record, and you push mode again and it brings you to photo resolutions, time lapse photo, burst photo, and you hit mode again and it brings you to volume. Beep, exposure, white balance, I, S, O, effects, content, saturation, sharpness, and you push that again, and it brings you to language, car mode, power off, date, and time, date format, frequency upside down upside down screen server format reset and WF uh, FW version and you just hit that to exit and it brings you back to video mode so those are the settings on the camera. Another thing with this camera, it does allow an external mic to be plugged into it. It did come with one. So I'll be doing some test footage with the external mic plugged in and without the external mic plugged in to show you guys the audio quality. So that'll be coming up next. Okay, so this is with the external mic plugged in. And we're just going to go down and see. Don't worry about the noise because they're doing construction right over there. And a little bit of wind, not too bad, I hope. But hopefully, the audio is picking up pretty good. We're just going to walk over here and see how we do. So this is with the external mic plugged in. Okay, this is without the external mic plugged in now. And I might have to talk a little bit louder. Because it is a little bit noisy walking back to my place. But hopefully the quality sounds good with it. Okay guys, I got the EIS turned on, which is the electronic image stabilization. 
so I'm saying it right so hopefully it turns out good we're gonna try it it's turned on now so and yes I have the external microphone plugged in as well so we're going to try this out and see how well it performs. Nice day out, that's for sure. Okay, so there's three uh, quality tests I did for the footage. The first one was with the external mic plugged in. Then without the external mic. Then I forgot to mention one of the features on the camera was the electronic image stabiliz ah, stabilization or EIS and as you see it, it's not that great apparently in my opinion as you can see in the footage I got there. but. Elsewise, I think the camera is pretty good footage-wise, with the external mic plugged in as well. Uh, I'm mostly going to be using this camera for fishing. That's why I picked it up, because it allows the external mic to be plugged in. And you can't go wrong for 80 bucks I spent on this, so it's a little bit, it's under 100 bucks, so you can't go wrong with it, but that's what I think about the camera so far like when I go out fishing and put it through a little bit more tests and see how it does that's when I'll start to figure it out more uh, I have to play around with the settings a little bit more just to get the right image quality but video quality sound quality it's pretty good on in my opinion so that's my uh, review on the Dragon Touch action camera version 4 so if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys hit that like button and I'll see you guys all in a new video thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys all later Hey guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to follow me on my social media, links are in the description below. And check out my last video.